this is all good automation. I'm back in the shop. It's been quite a while since I posted anything on uh, uh, YouTube, and uh, you guys probably think I've dropped off the face of the earth, but I haven't. I've been uh, extremely busy uh, working on a project here that I want to show you. Uh, what you're looking at here is a uh, high current FET output board capable of uh, 80 amps of continuous current to a uh, EBN 8 inch cell or 6 inch cell whatever you want to hook it up to here but this is uh, an, not an ordinary uh, PWM uh, this is just the FET high current output board and you can see here I've got some uh, uh, pretty uh, hefty duty uh, cable connections that actually connect up here to the cell um, and I also have here a uh, current shunt that I'm using to calibrate the uh, sensor that is built into the board just so you uh, get an idea of what this board really is and with its capability this connection here is the uh, PWM and current sensor uh, connector that connects back over here to a microprocessor controller um, here we have a connector that connects to a temperature sensor that is actually embedded into this heat sink uh, that is also has a fan on it uh, that, to dissipate some power that is uh, dissipated in the in the FET uh, uh, during operation. Um, oh, over here we have uh, the cutoff switch and I showed you the current uh, sensor that uh, uh, where I display the uh, actual current uh, that's being pulled through the board and of course here's my oscilloscope now what I really haven't shown you here very much is this little device right here this is a Arduino it is a mi small microprocessor that uses the Atmeg 328 chip it has a, a two line 16 digit uh, display and uh, it's a uh, set up right now to uh, uh, well let me power it down and power it up let me show you what's going on here okay it's powering down it says EBN core code 2. Point, whatever the date was there okay and it comes up and it shows you we're running at 400 Hertz at uh, 31 percent duty cycle um, anyway, so let me let me uh, adjust this so you can you can change the PWM to whatever you want, um, and I'll do that here. So I can adjust the current, uh, and I can uh, uh, see what the percent output is. Okay, here is a display that uh, uh, sets up uh, some. Uh, what we call software dip switches and so what I'm going to do is uh, turn on the uh, temperature control part of this thing by uh, adjusting this uh, and turning on this dip switch right here you do that by just punching the buttons on here so now the first uh, switch is for PWM the second one is for current control and the third one over here or fourth one over here is for uh, temperature control and, uh, and then I'll hit the button here which is the menu button and I can save the the settings I just uh, set okay I just uh, saved the options and if you notice I'm, I'm running at 400 Hertz well I can change this frequency to whatever I want and there's 600 700 Hertz over here there's 1600 1800 Hertz 2800 hertz. I can go all the way up here. Um, the the Arduino is capable up to about 400 kilohertz. Um, however, the FET output board uh, over here is really only good to about 15 kilohertz. So right now I've got 13.8 uh, kilohertz. I'm going to crank this thing down. I don't want to run it that high. Uh, Let's see here. Let's let's run it at 400 hertz. 
Okay, you notice we got the 99% duty cycle there right now. The reason it's 99% duty cycle is because I'm calling for a, a set point current. Now let me show you the set point current here. Okay, I've set a, a, a set point current of 16 amps here. I'm going to change that up here to 26 amps. Okay, so now it's going to be uh, looking for 26 amps of current. Um, if you notice right here that uh, we uh, have no current in the output circuit, and that's because my switch is off over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, the current on. My, and uh, if you notice that uh, we have a, a nice uh, square wave coming out of here, and it's modulating back and forth here. That's because I've set a current of 26 amps. And uh, when it gets to 26 amps, it uh, and it's reading at around 25.9. Okay, well, uh, and if you notice, my duty cycle is right up there around 99%. So, uh, and I can see what that current, that duty cycle is by punching the button here. And I have 99% duty cycle, uh, 26.5 amps, and a temperature of 66 degrees. It's kind of cold, cold here in my shop. Uh, there's a reason the temperature is down quite a ways. But anyway, uh, let me change this, this uh, menu item here again. I'm going to turn my uh, current down uh, a bit here. Okay. And if you notice, as soon as I went to 25 amps, it started modulating the current down. You can probably hear the, the, the change in the frequency. Okay, so I'm setting it at about 23 amps. My current is uh, is modulating down, and it's uh, it's hunting for that uh, current of 23 uh, amps that I set in there. And when it gets over 23 amps, it it rolls back the uh, the PWM to give me uh, an average uh, of lower than what I was getting before, which was 26 amps, down to 23 amps. See, here we go. Here, here it is on the display. There's 23 amps, and it's modulating down to 23 amps. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's going back and forth as uh, hunting for that uh, that current. You can also see that. Uh, that I'm producing, you know, a fair amount of hydrogen out of this cell at the moment. Um, I'm not going to hook up my uh, uh, hometer right at the moment to show you the output, but this this EBN cell uh, at uh, the the right currents can uh, produce upwards of four liters per minute. Uh, so let me let me do that. Let me crank this pep puppy up just a little bit here. I'm going to run it up to. 34 amps. You can see it's calling now. It's calling for 100 or 99% duty cycle, trying to get to the 34 amps of current on the output. So we got it a pretty steady current here, and it looks like uh, with the uh, E-like concentration and. Uh, uh, the battery voltage that I have, uh, I'm only capable of about uh, 28 amps right at the moment. Uh, if I were to change the uh, E-light concentration or the cell configuration over here so that I was pulling more current, obviously the current can go up. Um, anyway, there's 29, 8.9 amps. I'm, tr I'm calling for 33 amps and I'm, I'm reading here 28 amps currently. So let's uh, crank this down just a little bit and see if it'll modulate. See now it's, uh, I've cranked it down to 30 amps and uh, I'm reading about 29.4 here and I've got uh, a 99% duty cycle. 
uh, you, you can hear the, uh, the the hydroxy going into my bubbler tower here. Um, anyway, this is uh, the uh, project that I've been working on for the last year. This this is my development board right here. That's taken uh, quite a long time to develop. Um, uh, here are some of the other, you know, projects that uh, have been been worked on. Uh, here's my uh, uh, board that I showed you nearly a year ago. A couple of prototypes. Uh, this is the uh, uh, original prototype right here of that board. The actual uh, first first go at that board. Here are some. Uh, circuit boards that were more professionally made by a manufacturer for me. Uh, here's some uh, of the devices that you can buy to go on the Arduino. Here's a little joystick uh, device that's made by Liquidware. Here's a shield device. Here's a battery that can go on the, on the Arduino. Uh, this little microprocessor controlled Arduino is kind of a fun little uh, device uh, to play with. Uh, I mean, for an experimenter, this is uh, the cat's meow. And with this uh, high current fed output board, uh, can you imagine hooking this uh, high current fed output board up to a uh, uh, a motor, hooked up to a scooter with a little throttle control on it? Uh, I mean, you could use the, this little joystick as a throttle control if you really wanted to, or you could just uh, buy a a pot and hook it up to the Arduino uh, and use it for uh, a uh, throttle control on a, uh, a Razor type uh, scooter. Anyway, uh, as you can see this is uh, capable of a lot of current and uh, it has some neat features, a, a current feedback control and temperature control and uh, it's a, a, a nice little a two-line display uh, with the, the, the Ar with the Arduino. Anyway, this is uh, what I've been working on. This is all good automation.